I believe there's something even in the Bible when it comes to violence. Not to be manslayers. You know? Manslayers are those who murder or kill or those who destroy, you know, other human life. Whether it be, you know, an unborn or, or, or a newborn or a child or a teenager or an adult or even an old person you know, a, a senior. Uh, they're not supposed to be guilty of bloodshed, the, the Holy Scriptures say. You know, that's attested to not just in one religion, but many religions. Uh, that's, a, that's taboo. That's wrong. That's not good. That's evil. Uh, that's just what we know instinctually, and we know it traditionally, and we know it under divine inspiration, you know, written by prof prophetic uh, individuals who had a personal connection with God. Uh, all these things basically show us that uh, it's a common and true thing, that uh, those things are wrong, that so we are to avoid those. Uh, and there's a lot of innocent blood still being spilt around the world. People that don't value human life, and uh, it's against it's according to God, according to the scriptures, the holy writings. It's an abomination to God, meaning it's it's not good in the eyes of God, and that there's going to be a day of reckoning for it, day of accountability. And the people just go into other nations and indiscriminately, you know, they murder innocent people. Not just hostile enemies, but innocent civilians. And they do that for, you know, with, I don't know if they can do it with a clean conscience, or maybe their conscience is just seared. Like what St. Paul says, as if with a, a, a hot iron. You know, people can become numb and can become hardened and insensitive in the, in the area of violence and they watch it they people people all over the world citizens not just people in the military but people actually pay a lot of money to be entertained uh, 